hello everyone welcome back here in this new video tutorial in microsoft excel today we are going to learn how to create a dynamic to-do list or task tracker in excel as you see here in the screen it is a dynamic to-do list or task tracker which has a progress diagram here it will automatically update when we start marking the completed task as you see here when i click on this checkbox the diagram starts to update it has given the progress that is 67% work complete and uh, here if you add a new task like uh, if you put here task 7 just for example then this diagram is automatically changing here I will also put task 8 then here you see now the progress has decreased because I added new task so this we are going to do here now let's go to another sheet and start creating this dynamic task tracker first of all you have to make a list of your task then you have to convert your task detail into table design so here select the serial number task detail and check if complete these three columns values then press ctrl t in the keyboard this will create a table here select the my table has headers then click ok and here you see the table is created by going here in the table design you can select a different table style from here if you want to change the table style now here you have to insert the checkbox to insert checkbox simply select these cells then go here in the insert tab and click on the checkbox tool now the checkbox are inserted now here in this cell write completed task in the next cell write incomplete task and here let's calculate the percentage of completed task by using this formula here in this cell press equal to then start with the count if formula open the bracket then here we have to select the checkbox range till here then give a comma in the criteria of the count if write here true because the selected checkbox displays the value of true in the cell now close the bracket then press the division symbol now we have to count all the task that is given here in the task detail range so here write the count a function count a open bracket then select all the task of the task detail range now close bracket and press enter this gives here the value of 0 because we don't have selected any task here when you click on it here you see the completed task is given convert this into percentage formatting by clicking on the cell go to home tab then click on this percent icon now this is the completed task percent and here to calculate the incomplete task simply subtract the completed task from 100 percent so press equal to type 100 percent minus then click on the completed task now press enter this gives the incomplete task here remove the digit after decimal by going here in this decrease decimal option now based on these two percentage we will create a diagram here for that select this completed task and incomplete task percentage then go to insert tab click on the column chart option then choose this 2d stacked bar chart this will create this chart here then in the chart design click on this switch row column option now after you do this go here in the axis level click on it then right click click on format axis and here in the minimum and the maximum values put 0 here in the minimum and in the maximum put 1 this way now again click on this minimum then the maximum will update here now just close this format axis and after this you can delete this 
axis axis values from here delete also delete the chart title delete the y axis value from here by clicking and deleting now here click on this data series and then right click go to format data series option and here in this gap width make it 0% now go here in the chart and then reduce the size of this by dragging this down in this way then keep it at the top of your task tracker here and increase the size or the length of the chart from here now here we need to display the percentage of completed task so here right click and then go to add data label this will add the completed task percentage here you can increase the size by clicking on it then go to home tab then here click on the increase font option make it bold and you can give a dark color here by clicking the automatic now here make the incomplete portion of the task a different color by clicking on this then go here in the color option then here in this color choose a light color from here in this way now here the diagram is created if you now click on more task then here you see it gets updated and when you add a new task here like uh, task 7 then diagram is automatically updating and here to enable the checkbox you have to simply select these cells including one checkbox then select till the task 10 then press ctrl d in the keyboard this will fill the checkbox down in this way now you can update the status of the task if the task is completed here you can check on it and your diagram will start automatically updating and here when you add more task then when you scroll down the diagram will be invisible here in this case you can freeze the row here by clicking on this first serial number one then go to the view tab then click on freeze panes and click on freeze panes now when you scroll it down this portion will remain fixed now here you can make these values invisible because this is no more required to display here so to make it invisible select it go to home tab choose the white color so that this gets invisible here now only the task tracker and the diagram is visible now you can use this task tracker or to-do list by adding more task here if you want to delete some task you can simply select the row then click on delete then it will automatically update in the diagram so this is the way of creating a dynamic to-do list or task tracker in excel thank you very much for watching this video we will again meet on next video tutorial